What is up, little biscuits? Y'all, it's been a hot minute since I've done a review, but I'm going to be reviewing today the brand new About Face Foundation. I keep seeing this all over TikTok, and I was like, let me give it a shot, especially because it is only $22, and I did pick it up from Ulta, and the $3.50 off coupon worked for these, so it came out even cheaper. I'm going to be reviewing the shade reviewing the shade LM2 Neutral and L2 Olive, because I like to mix. I put these on the back of my hand, and I mixed it, and I was like, oh, this looks like my perfect match. So we're going to be doing that within today's video, letting you guys know I will not be putting it on my my forehead because I will be covering this big ass forehead up so don't worry about that but for the rest of my face we're gonna really see how this works because this is supposedly packed with 17 plus skincare loving ingredients in it and on top of that too it's supposed to help calm down redness and as you guys can see I look like the Kool-Aid man's ball sack, y'all. So we are going to really put this to the test to see if it can tone down my redness because one thing about me is I hate my redness. Let's go ahead and get into the review. So this is what the packaging looks like. It does come with a big doe foot applicator. I feel like a lot of people on the internet don't really like that because they're like, oh, it's unsanitary. But I feel like if you just have your face clean, it's all fine and dandy to put it on your face. I do want to read from the actual website to let you guys know what this is about. It says, breaking the norm, center stage skin. This cushiony formula is packed with 17 plus skincare ingredients to maintain moisture, help even plus smooth skin with everywhere. It says our first um, hybrid foundation is buildable, breathable, and wearable for up to 12 hours with cake-free, seamless fill, and a natural soft focus finish, no matter your ideal level of coverage, optimizing your skin with each wear. Now, before we go ahead and get into this, I like to recently, oh my gosh, I am just so obsessed with this Centella Asiatica spray. I'm going to spray this on my face. let that sit in for just like two minutes. If you guys have a lot of redness, try out a Centella Asiatica spray because it will really calm it down. Also, I've been loving putting it on before makeup too because I feel like it has a little bit of stickiness so it grips onto the makeup. I'm gonna be starting off with the shade L2 Olive. I'm gonna be taking that on the um, high points of my face as well as where I would like highlight my contour. So what I'm gonna do is just take a couple dots right here and then right here because I'm gonna like bootleg a little contour here because I'm too lazy to contour on a daily basis, but highlighting these points will make it look like I'm contouring. Also, I forgot to mention, this is what the applicator looks like. It is a big doe foot. It is really convenient. I like an applicator like this because it's quick and easy. Then I'm gonna be going in with the shade LM2 Neutral and then just taking that on my red cheeks. Just put some right there, some right there, a little dot right there. And then I'm gonna be wearing a hat later, so I'm just gonna like put right here and that will be enough. And then I'll do my neck after. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and stipple this all in with my Juno & Co sponge. And by the way, I've been liking to use this sponge dry. I feel like it applies any type of product that I put on it better when it's dry. So that's what we're doing today. Oh, okay, so this definitely is a little bit more of a lighter coverage. Maybe we can build it up. Yeah, actually, oh yeah, my redness is still showing through right there. I'm like, I like the coverage. This is nice, but it's just not enough, especially on my redness. This is what it's looking like right now. I do have to say I really like the finish. Up close and personal, it looks like skin. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey, and I'm really liking it so far. I may go in with just a little bit more right here where you guys see this redness and see if I can build it up. But as of right now, I like the rest of it. It looks really, really good. I'm just go ahead and blend out this other side right here. Now I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of the KVD Good Apple Concealer. And y'all, this is all I use. I don't like a lot of concealer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. I decided to not build up the coverage because I'm gonna be stepping out in daylight today. So I was like, let me not look heavy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like this. Have a little bit of redness showing through. So I definitely will say that this right now is on the light to medium coverage, but I really, really like it. Up close and personal, it looks like skin. And I'm setting my under eye with the Hourglass Vel Translucent Powder. Y'all, I love this powder so much, but it is expensive as fuck. If you guys know of any dupes out there, please let me know. This powder is really good if you are aging, if you have fine lines, if you have any type of texture. This is absolutely amazing. It's not overly matte. It is really nice underneath the eyes, but damn, is it expensive. I love how I use three different setting powders. The center of my face, I use the um, Ultra HD setting powder from Makeup Forever. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with the Kosas Cloud Set if you guys have not used this powder before. <gasps> oh my gosh. It broke. 
<gasps> I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. I literally didn't even drop it or anything. Y'all, I'm gonna piece this back together. I had to buy the mini because I'm so broke. Oh my god. I can't believe that it broke. Okay, let me piece this at, back together and I'm gonna set my face with this somehow. Not me literally buying the mini just because I'm so poor right now and it's still breaking on me. Oh my gosh. Anyways, this powder is absolutely amazing. If you want like a skin like finish, not overly matte, this is really good. I'm gonna take it with the back side, the big side of my little powder puff here by Beauty Blender. This looks all types of chewed up because my sister's dog chewed on it. So just don't pay attention to that. So this is what the foundation looks like right now. I am really, really liking it. Do not pay attention to the rest of my face. I'm gonna be putting on a hat. I'll be doing my brows and all that good stuff after. But I do wanna do a little bit of a wear test today. Y'all, I may be lit by the end of this video just letting you guys know because I may or may not end up at the bar. Just saying, okay? But it's currently 3.36 right now. Oh, 3.36. So I don't know how long I'm gonna keep this on, but you guys will see. But as of right now, it's a 10 out of 10. It looks really good, natural. It feels very lightweight and it looks like real skin up close and personal. So I'll be doing doing a check-in later to let you guys know how I officially like it. So the quality of this outro is going to be horrible because I was just way too lazy to reset up my camera and light. So let me go ahead and show you guys up close and personal what this foundation looks like after eight hours. Actually, it's been over eight hours. So check this out. You guys can see on my nose, it did get a little bit oily, but the rest of my face looks really, really nice. I did notice though, that some parts of my face did get a little bit more dry. Not like severely dry, but like noticeable to where I could like see that I have makeup on. And all throughout the day, I was like, oh wow, like this looks like real skin. Like my skin looks like skin. Um, but then I did notice like some parts like on my cheek and like right underneath here did get a little bit dry, but not like severely. Overall, I really do like this foundation. I think it is really, really nice. It does definitely look like skin. I almost want to see what it looks like just not set. I don't know why for some reason I'm just a little bit too scared to do that. But by the way, the oiliness on my nose obviously is not the worst. I feel like it could be way worse, but I do have to let you guys know that I did use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Setting Spray. You guys know I love that and I swear by it and I think that that really does help out. So overall, I definitely like this foundation. I actually would rate it an 8.5 out of 10. So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you guys like reviews on my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.